Hi, in this training video we will take you through user management and setting up teams in Bartender. By the end of this video you'll know how to manage your own user profile and if you are set up as your accounts administrator you'll also learn how to add or suspend users as well as creating teams to help you control how jobs are shared within your company. Let's begin. User options and preferences can be found by clicking on your profile icon in the top right corner of Bartender. From here, you can access and update your own user profile, including adding a photo. This menu also gives you the options to change your password, change user preferences, and finally, access to the user management console. The user management console allows you to add or suspend users, as well as creating teams to help you control how jobs are shared within your company. To add a user, click add user, and then add the contact information for that user. Remember a valid email address must be supplied. This will form part of the login information for that user. There are four roles that a user can be allocated. Admin, Manager, Trusted User, and User. Admins can access all bartender jobs, create teams, allocate users to those teams, and can edit user information. Managers have access to all bartender jobs across all teams. Trusted users can see and edit any job within their allocated team and users can only access and edit their own jobs. Admins can change user roles through the user management console at any time. A team can be used to designate groups of users such as internal teams to your office or different offices within a national team. Users can be part of a singular team, multiple teams or no teams. To create a new team, click Teams, click Add Team, enter the name of your new team and click Save. You can either go back to your Teams list by clicking Manage, or you can close the Add Teams dialog box. To add a user to a team, click on the teal coloured text in the Teams column for that user. Simply click the team or teams that you wish this user to be a part of. You can also unselect to remove a user from a team in the same fashion. The user management console provides an array of useful data about your users. You can see the date and time a user was last active, how many jobs a user owns, and when the user was created in your system. You can also see if a user is verified. This column indicates that upon creation of a user, an email has been sent to the user's email address and that they have logged in with that email address and the generated password. Once a user has logged in and changed their password, which is the first action they will be prompted to take, they will be listed as verified. The verification email that is sent to a new user is only valid for seven days so you have the option to resend the email if required. The status of a user can also be controlled from the user management console. Users can either be active or suspended. A suspended user does not count towards your license count. This can be seen on the top left of the screen. You can filter the user list by their status by clicking on all users in the top right hand corner of your screen. That concludes our training video showing you through user management and setting up teams in Bartender. If you'd like more information about Bartender, please do not hesitate to get in contact with us. And as always, happy estimating.